You go to the club, everybody's drunk, having a good time, then all of a sudden you leave with them. Well, well, you know what? Sometimes they'll package themselves. Yeah. They'll already have the girlfriend or somebody that they've already been active with. True. And they say, look, I want to do this, and it's more, and it might be more exciting than going with one girl. Wow. And that's it. And what we're talking about is a single male's activity. It's nothing abnormal about them going out and finding somebody that they're interested in physically. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe a, a single woman, the standards are completely different, too. A woman that, that, that conducts herself like a single single man, a man is a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A man technically is a hoe. If you look like what a man's activity is <laughs> oh, versus shit. Yeah, a single up. female, she would be classified a hoe, but he would do. Because, <laughs> like, if you know, like, three or four or five people... In a 10 block radius, if the man slept with like five or six people in that 10 block radius in his neighborhood, he just has something going for him that makes him cool. Mm. Yeah, in the hood, I... if, if she don't slept with, with five or six people, man, that bitch would pop up. Wow. Like, and technically, niggas would be looking at it like, nah, you already know what that is. So that means dudes are pop offs too, then? Yeah. But, yeah, but that's it's, it's okay. Yeah, it is okay. But we brought up that the fact that it's not cool for a girl to have two dudes. Or do you agree with that, or you think everybody should be equal? You know, a girl, yeah. you know, two dudes and one I girl. Mean, I think, so there's, there's a different kind of woman that's requesting that. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm. Then she, she's, she's, uh, and I mean, and then what do you mean by two dudes? You talking about she finna go? You finna DP her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is exactly how he meant it. You better go with penetration. Yeah, that's exactly how he meant it. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to be nice here. I'm trying to be one at a time. Nah, no, 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 listen, listen. <laughs> if you're talking about, but check this out. If the woman had that actual fantasy or that fetish, would you have a problem? Question yourself. Would you have a problem with fulfilling that for? Yeah, I'll have a problem. And why? Because you would only have a problem. Because you were emotionally attached to that situation. And yeah. that's, what the, that's the same problem the women are having with a Menard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. He just fucked my head up, yo. Yeah, 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 <laughs> then he yeah, just yeah. reversed I just it to me now. Face. I just seen your face. He was like, hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, stupid <laughs> hooking <laughs> face just now. Yeah. yeah, think about it. When you, when you, oh, if you like, yo, nah, I ain't doing that. Yo. Why? Either, either you insecure about yourself because she, she would have to take a shot. Either... Uh, you, you don't feel like a man if another man saw you because you ain't physically as big as this man and you dealing with that issue oh, or man. you got some other shit going <laughs> on in your head damn <laughs> that's, crazy. Yeah, that's, that's true that's shit true. That. that's true shit though yeah, like, she's you know, screaming she ain't you know she's screaming with him but she's like okay with, with you. you yeah you now you, you feeling some type of way she came yeah. with him and didn't come with you who can feel oh, that's too many shit. cons I, I ain't doing it <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, that's 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 some different shit like this, but that would be things that factor in, and that's what the woman is afraid of. That mm. you gonna like the, the physical performance of the other girl versus her. When if you already, if one of them, if you fucking with one of them hard enough to get you into the actual Menard situation, if that's your actual girl, you go with your fucking girl. You, it's just, <laughs> your value. The only thing that's really precious in life, a moment. Mm. Right. So all you can value is the time that you spent. Exactly. That's what I was you know saying what I'm saying? Earlier. The person that actually, because we all provide a presentation, a, 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 a whole cool presentation of ourselves before you start to get to know our imperfection. The person that you've been around will start to see your shit. Mm -hmm. Whether well, it takes this bitch to be the coolest girl in the world and does she go through your phone and realize who the fuck you are? Mm. Or whatever the circumstances are. You see what I'm saying? Wow, man. Fiddy just fucked my head up with that mm, one. Got me shit. fucked up right now. now I don't want to. Do, I, I wouldn't do it, though. So you wouldn't do it, though? Nah, I wouldn't do two guys. I wouldn't do it. Like, nah. And she asked you, so you're saying you wouldn't do it? Nah, though. I wouldn't do it. That man. means you're emo emotionally you attached. attached. Yeah, like that, and I don't even know her. You like that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a sucker, yeah. Fiddy. <laughs> nah, but I, would, I, I mean, it depends. For, for me, I, you know. I mean, you know. I ain't, the, touching, the, the, no, I ain't touching the man like, bro, a lot, but the other shit is, you know. Oh it's my different. God! I mean, and and, and it's, it's a bit—it's extreme. Like for 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 a female to ask for that is extreme. That means that that physically she's she's uh saying that she could you like utilize more. Holy shit, man! That she could take more. 
You know what I'm saying? Like then, then what you've been doing is, hasn't been completely satisfying at that point. That's what I think most men would they would register that way. I'm just glad you called up just to even get us a little more clarity in the situation. You know, since you are a man of power, you, you know people. I believe I believe that you know wholeheartedly. I think that I, I mean I, if you meet like because what I've what I've experienced too is if you meet the like the woman that early if she likes you enough she might mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying but you you already see those things like I see it all the time like it's like like between in the, in the early stages of my career like mm-hmm. I I explored everything I did it because it was an abnormal position for a male like women have who they want right most of the time most attractive women can have options mm. they already start you see what I'm saying and a man has what he can and up until the point that he's successful and it's, and it's publicly noted. And then his options start to open up more. Exactly. Yeah. You get women <laughs> with different motivations. Come. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't care if she's a gold digger or not. She still perform fellatio the way fellatio is supposed to be performed. And she's good. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> true. And if you're not looking for anything more out of the situation, didn't you get what you wanted? Exactly. Yep. yep. Peace. You know, it's just, you know, it's, it's for them suckers out there looking for love. <laughs> this is where I come in. <laughs> yeah, be really hurt. Sucker for love, you be you. really hurt behind that shit, and you ain't supposed to that because you got what you yeah, wanted. Who, who kid is devastating? <laughs> you want him too? I'm like, who kid? She a pop. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, like, man. Don't no, know. not her. Not her. <laughs> no, I like her. <laughs> but I loved her. Well, I was like, <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> you went for me to 50? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Shut up, PR. The fuck up. My God, PR, she was in Norway. <laughs> <laughs> The nigga who came was like this. My God. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was in love with her, yo. I was in love for like a good eight hours, yo. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 check this out. You want to take the bitch to the zoo. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a bitch. <laughs> You want to go pet little furry motherfuckers and shit like You went to the zoo? <laughs> you took her to the zoo? What a gay nigga. Yo, what's wrong with this dude, son? You know, nah, I, I, I want to treat her nice. And you know she came straight to the chamber. That <laughs> <laughs> was damn, my nigga. Oh, you know it. And you, and you kid was like, no, why? <laughs> why? I treated you right. <laughs> I, I let you see that monkey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I took you to the zoo. <laughs> you see the shit, yo. See the shit I gotta go through on radio, man. See the shit I gotta go through. Wow. Oh my god. Well, I'm, I'm so happy. Fifty call. What's up when things fall apart, man? Let's get to that. Yeah, let's get to that, right? <laughs> I heard the premiere was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. Yeah, yeah, man. I had a good time. I feel good about it, man. The response to it has been great. You know, I just, I, all I do, I just want to keep the city on. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's, it's one of the. I, I think the best films I made so far, and mm-hmm. um, you know, because of the discipline that was required for that actual project, you know, I, I wanted to go unseen. And then now I'm, it's going to be in the other festivals. It, they'll see it premiere. Right. Uh, That's good. That's and, good. And uh, Atlanta Film Festival next, and then um, in I, Aruba. I, 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 I hear it's going to be in the uh, French Riviera with Robert De Niro too. Uh, you know, I heard talks about that. So right. he's hosting It'll it. Be, and, oh, and it can. And yeah, it can. yeah. He, he's actually yeah. hosting it, so it's kind of hot that your movie's going to be out there also, since you you and him yeah, are yeah. doing a movie. Speaking of hosting, um, on the 12th, uh-huh. on the 12th in New York City, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hosting uh, uh, an event with uh, Bob and Harvey Weinstein. Oh, wow. For the Screen 4 premiere and, and a party out there, so, you know, everybody can come on out and have some fun there. Oh, but shit. you know, I'm I'm hanging with the heavyweights. You already know. Definitely, yeah. we already see it. How did uh, How did Floyd Mayweather react to seeing you with the weight loss? Oh man, he was like, "Why you do that?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody in here, somebody in here, almost see me crying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Why you ain't tell me that? You's a sucker, me." <laughs> nah, that movie is it, 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 it could emotionally fuck you up, especially towards the end. I mean, it's it's really crazy, yo. People gotta yeah, watch it. Not really be like that, you know. What I mean, so it's, it's, it's 
it's based on the real experience. You know what I'm saying? And because I, I went through the experience of loss of, of my best friend growing up, I, you know, was inspired to be a part of that project, you know, to do it. I know, I know. Um, That's crazy. You know, I, I'm, I'm on my way to the gym now. And I'm, I'm going to be losing 54 pounds again. Fuck that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's uh -huh. another question. A lot of people would say, would you ever, ever do Unless, that again? I guess if it was for a good movie, right? Yeah. But it got to be the right project. Right? Be right because, part. you know, because of that project, like what that project was about for me, like the same way I'm, I'm talking to my mom. You saw it, right, P.R.? No, I didn't get to see it yet, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who kid was okay. jetted out without me? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, he do. Suck Come on. on. You sucker. That's what you get. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> But, like, the same thing I'm talking to Lynn Whitfield on, on the bed in the room after I come back from the hospital. And, uh, like, like that was an actual experience I had. Like, that was almost very, very close in conversation to what me and my best friend said to each other. Because I wrote that based on when he told me that he had cancer and that he, he was sure he was going to actually die. You see what I'm saying? Wow, yeah. And your best friend being um, Alvin. Right, Char Char you know him. You yeah, I, I know, and you know what? Very, very, very good dude, man. Yeah, he, he actually very, he looked out for you. Very good, like dude. crazy with all your homies, like yo, very, very good, good dude. Oh yeah, he got yeah. everybody out for me. Yeah. yeah, and and he actually helped me represented me at one time for my uh, I forgot what it was. I think it was a driving shit. He actually got me out of jail for remember when I got locked up with no license, fifth. Right, guess like who was there? Yo, out for yeah, me. So very good dude. Like Professionally like and just personally, he's a very, very good dude. Yeah, but he, I mean, for me, like, this, this growing up, he, he's, he's, you know what, I, I didn't really like his parents very much growing up, mm -hmm. but they were so strict. He was like two, three years older than me, and he couldn't leave the block. You know what I'm saying? But when he did, we did leave the block, it was like a known drug location, two blocks from where we stayed, that it, it was a known drug location for 20 years. So, mm -hmm. like, like I, I didn't understand it at that point. I was like, he older than me, he can't go. Like, I was like, and, like, he had to be on the stoop when the street light came on, or he had to go in the house. So, like, as soon as the street light come on, he'd run to the stoop, and I have to go talk to him by the stoop. Right. And I was like, man, this shit is, fuck these people, you know what I'm saying? We can't do nothing. <laughs> wow. And, 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 and oh, I didn't understand how, the, you know, structured living would be uh, a benefit to, to us at that point. Right, right, you know right. Because I didn't have the same structure, I didn't have the same guidance around me i was looking at him like he was it was unfair to him unfair to him right he actually provided him with the ability to focus he, he was saying he wanted to be a lawyer since he was in the dirt so they kind of give him case law to read for recreation mm. and he, he had information about you know what he wanted to do when he get older since he was little like for, for recreational purposes he'd be reading cases and just thinking about it and figuring out the outcomes and what, what, what tactics the lawyer used to, to, you know, bring across his point. And he became a really good lawyer. So a lot of times, you, you know, you may feel like it's, it's uncomfortable. Like, But when kids develop a passion for something, you got to allow them to be themselves and kind of find it. But once they do that, you can structure it into their actual lifestyle. Mm, I'm just you saying. know what I'm saying? And then... Just help them in a way that they actually, you know, can create that focus so they can be good enough. Like, like Marquise right. plays basketball, so you got like we put them in all the tournaments. We, we put them with, you know, personal coaches to help them get better. Right. Yeah. He's still balling. He's still playing ball. Yeah, he's he doing it, and and you know, for there, like he just it, it takes a lot of discipline. You know how hard these boys work to be pro ball players. Oh, good. So even, the ones, even the ones that you think. Suck. <laughs> yeah. Like the guy on the bench will bust your ass. Like you understand what I'm saying? Like he will bust your ass. Like don't think that he's there by accident. Mm. No, there's some Nick players that's there by accident though. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you feel like that? I know, I do feel like that though. <laughs> it's and, only because some some of them are so much more gifted and they've been positioned in a way where they're allowed to show what their talents are? Yeah, like your like your, your 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 best friend now, Camilla Anthony. See you at the game now. Yeah, fifty at the game. The game. Huh. Wow. Yeah, right, I fuck with him. That's <laughs> ill. Man, I like him, and you know what's ill is I think when he you know they get comfortable, they got a shot. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. See, see now, see, after we spoke about them, they stepped the game up now. Five yeah, in yeah. a row. No, no, 